What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be covering some things. If you guys missed the video from yesterday, day before, the other day, one of those days, we pretty much showcased the brand new WWE Mattel action figures that we're going to be getting from Mattel coming, you know, in this year, 2020, coming in 2021. A lot of great shit was revealed. Uh, just, just a fantastic day. I, th I think it was one of the best days, at least Access is concerned. You know, WrestleMania Access was canceled. You know, usually every year we have WrestleMania Access. Mattel comes. They show us some brand new figures. They have some new reveals. Well, this year, obviously, with everything going on in the world, they had to cancel Access because, you know, WrestleMania barely is even happening tonight. So they, you know, they, they wanted to unveil it to us and Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins did a fantastic job on WWE's YouTube channel revealing to us all of those figures. And you know what? As great as all those figures were, you know, we went through, we saw some epic stuff. The Fiend, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, all these great figures coming that I'm super hyped on, no, no doubt about it. But, you know, there were some figures that were still missing, man. There are still some figures where I'm like, where in the hell are are they at? Like, it's like, it just doesn't make sense. I don't know if it's, you know, like, production's reasons. Like, they just, you know, they're struggling to come up with formulas. Or, like, is it tattoos? Is it, like, facial scans? I, true effects technology? I don't know what's going on over there. But I'm like, damn, man, what the fuck? So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be diving into those figures. And I'm going to be talking about them because uh, I still feel like we need them, man. Like, where are they? I'm really concerned about where they are. And so today, we're going to dive into those figures, man. And hopefully we get these soon you know we didn't see any renders of these people we didn't see any you know product shots we didn't see anything about these guys so let's go ahead and dive in guys let's start off with the the obvious i feel like everybody knows these this is just right off the bat guys where in the hell are our viking raiders our war machine our viking experience war machine raiders i don't know where the hell these guys are these customs right here were made by rocka jabroni customs on Instagram. He is like one of the best customizers I've ever seen. I feel like him and BEW, uh, Nick's Custom Toys, I mean, Mac Decals, there's some guys that could just have an all-out war right now. If you put those guys in a Fatal 4-Way or something like that, man, I, I, I'd tune into that football game for sure. So, these uh, these customs right here are freaking fantastic. They're out of this world. And this is our War Machine or Viking Raiders or Viking... Whatever the hell you want to call their 18 different tag team names. But all these tattoos are hand-painted. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, when you look at this, you're like, damn, bro. Like, that, that ish right there is ridiculous how great these are. But I did want to give a huge shout-out to him. Go check him out on Instagram. But I still do not know where the Viking Raiders are. Um, you know, they have been in the company. They've been on the main roster for a really long time time now and we have guys like uh we, we have so many different like drake maverick is gonna have a figure before the viking raiders and you know when you think about different things like that like these guys have been raw tag team champions i think twice now maybe just once but i could have sworn they've been tag team champions twice hi guys i'm editing right now and they have only been raw tag team champions once it was just once not twice for the record only one time don't quote me on that, but they they were in NXT for a while, and then they came up to the main roster, and we still do not have the, these guys. It really, I really don't know what the hell where they are. Like I haven't had an update on them. I really haven't asked, but you know, I just I thought for sure that we would get a reveal on them. Maybe at Comic Con, if you know, if we have a Comic Con, whenever those are revealed, those figures are revealed. Maybe we'll get them then, or we'll see them then. But I just think that's crazy. I think this is one of the biggest ones on the radar. Like this is this is big time Viking Raiders. We really need the Viking Raiders, man. It's kind of, it's just crazy at this point. But another guy that I want to mention is Leo Rush. Now, Leo Rush is another guy that's been on the main roster, you know, forever ago. It seemed like he was running around with Bobby Lashley back last year. Um, we had, you know, him in the singles division, obviously now in the Cruiserweight division in NXT, which is great. He won the, you know, the Cruiserweight Championship. You know, uh, I, I just think by now we would at least have like a basic of him or a battle pack of the Viking Raiders. So Leo Rush is another one of those guys. He was my favorite independent talent before signing with WWE. And uh, to have him in WWE, and still don't have a figure of him. It's like, dead gum, bro. I really want to see this man in action figure form. I know the perfect formula for it. You know, you use the Kalisto torso, the Kalisto part choice. You give us a head scan. You put all the tattoos on it. I feel like it would be relatively simple. But you know, maybe I don't. I don't know what goes into it. I've heard in the past that like everybody gets a figure. You know, they they get in there with everybody. They will look up everyone, anybody that signed to WWE. You go in and get your face scanned. I don't know about that. That could be wrong too. But that's just 
just what I've heard before. Um, I think a WWE talent in an interview one time said, you know, everybody gets a figure or everybody at least scans for a figure. So I don't know what the deal is. Maybe they said don't make Leo Rush. I, I, don't, I don't know what the hell's going on. But Leo Rush is another one of those guys. Leo Rush and Viking Raiders we still do not have. We don't even have images of. So it's just super duper crazy to me. Um, and after this video, if I don't mention somebody, please let me know down in the comment section below. But I felt like those three guys, those two guys, if you want to count as a tag team there, but... Those three guys, Leo Rush and the Viking Raiders, were my top two picks for sure. Now, these guys don't technically count for, you know, we're not getting figures on because we do have basics of these guys on the way. But the Street Profits, I thought, I thought we, we might get, you know, some elites of these guys. We still do not have elites of these guys' images or anything like that. And their formulas, these figures right here were made by BEW Animations. Uh, the Leo Rush and the Street Profits and a couple more figures in this video were made by BEW. Absolute fantastic customizer. Probably best in the entire world right here. But, uh, these this elite uh, these elites of Angelo and Montez Ford right here they look so good and I think this is sim similar to what Mattel can do and I know that they're going to knock those out of the park once we finally get those from Mattel but we still yet to see elites of these guys and again we do have basics of them coming which look pretty good in the white attire I am a fan of their head sculpts and everything but the basics just don't hit like they used to you know what I'm saying so I really want to see elites of these guys I think the formulas would be really really creative and unique especially with uh you know the 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 singlet on top of the shorts and you know they always have these cool attires and the the, the you know the joggers of Montez Ford and stuff so I am excited to see when these guys finally get elites but we still have not seen those guys yet so that is something to take note of um some more women's talents that we got to get in here and we've mentioned this before on the channel Dakota Kai has still not had a figure made and you know it's kind of crazy you know we've seen so many different women's figures in NXT not in NXT so uh, I felt like Dakota Kai is one of those that we really need to see as well and then one that goes hand in hand with that is Io Shirai another NXT top talent we obviously saw it yesterday or the other day when we saw all the Mattel reveals that we are going to be getting a Rhea Ripley, which is a very big deal. Um, I felt like the women's reveals just weren't super big yesterday. You know, we did get Rhea Ripley, which is a really big deal. Another thing I wanted to mention is that Sasha Banks figure that we were supposed to get is no longer going to be ringside exclusive, but it is going to be Elite Series 83. So I think that's really crazy. That must that tells me that there's not a lot of wiggle room maybe in the next few series. Like we we haven't even gotten Elite. Series 76. We still have Elite Series 77 coming, and then 78, and then 79, 80, 81, 82. I mean, that's a lot of series right there before we get that Sasha Bank. So I don't know. Maybe, you know, the Edge, the three pack and one Edge, maybe came in and said, you know what, Brad? We're not doing the Sasha Banks, or maybe orders, or, you know, people are thinking, you know, that, that maybe the orders wouldn't do as well. I'm not exactly sure about that, but the Sasha Banks is no longer a ringside exclusive. I just wanted to mention that here in the video, but I feel like Dominic, Dominic Dukovic is another talent that we haven't seen. Uh, Damian Priest is another guy that we haven't seen, and then Angel Garza is somebody that I think maybe by Comic-Con will have renders of. I actually imagine that by Comic-Con we'll probably have renders of Dijakovic. We'll probably have a Keith Lee render and we'll probably have an Angel Garza render of all three of those guys. Damian Priest, maybe not so much, but I feel like uh, Dijakovic and Angel Garza and Keith Lee will all have renders of elites at least by Comic-Con, if I'm not mistaken. That would be my ultimate guess. And hope to Jesus that we get some Viking Raiders and Leo Rush renders of their figures by Comic-Con because I feel like it's been forever. I feel like I have gotten on here and talking about, uh, you know, figures that we don't have yet or guys that we don't have yet. And the Viking Raiders and Leo Rush are always the first two, three names that I mention about not getting these guys. So uh, I definitely want to see them made. I know that, you know, there's a ton of detail in War Machine there, you know, with their tattoos and their beards. Rock a jabroni, knock these damn things out of the park. It makes you just want to freaking lose your damn mind when you look at these figures. They're probably the best damn custom, like two of the best customs just overall, like with the amount of work done in the heads. And then you got the the, the formulas are perfect. For, teth, the formulas are perfect, and then you have, you know, the perfect tattoos, which are all hand-painted, which blows my damn mind all over the damn room, but um, those look fantastic, and they're a great way of, you know, if Mattel's ever looking for a part selection, I think these are perfect parts for them, and uh, you guys know that we do have heavy machinery on the way. We got a lot of great reveals the other day of new figures that we're going to be getting, so we do have some epic stuff coming soon. I mean, there's so many great figures that are coming. A lot of them were repeats, but we do have, you know, um, 
Billy Graham coming. We have Drake Maverick coming. We have The Fiend, obviously. We have Greg the Hammer Valentine. So there are some great figures coming that we may have not seen before, but uh, these are still guys that we really, really need in our collections. Bill has even came out and said that he will push out NXT talent. Like, he doesn't care if you're main roster or NXT. He wants to make NXT talent. So I think that, uh, you know, it's, it's just a matter of time before we get Keith Lee, and he's made multiple appearances on the main roster in the main, in the Royal Rumble at Survivor Series. So I think that a Keith Lee is inevitable at this point. Angel Garza has been up on the main roster now. And even Austin Theory now up on the main roster. It'll probably be a matter of time before we see a render of him. Um, I would imagine it'd be a little bit, but I could see it being done. I'm not a big fan of him, but I could see that being done. But Leo Rush and the Viking Raiders, man, they got to be up there. War Machine, whatever the hell you want to call them. They're always going to be War Machine to me. F the Viking experience, BS. But I cannot think of anybody else, at least off the top of my head. I went through the roster, and I was like, who the hell do we not have? I had to run through that hoe. I was like, His, this guy, this guy, and I think that is it. Like, really, Leo Rush and the Viking Raiders are the big ones, and then there's probably a couple names here and there that you could th sprinkle in there. But it, when you look at the rosters, it's like, damn, we actually do have a lot of these guys in figure form. So, um, you know, that that's a really big deal, but there are a couple missing, and you feel like the Viking Raiders and Leo Rush are definitely in there, and then I want elites of the Street Profits for sure, and then Dakota Kai, Io Shirai, and uh, some others definitely up in there. But anyways, guys, I think Can Candice LeRae, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and plug her in right there too. I think, I think Candice LeRae definitely needs a basic figure very, very soon. We have Johnny Football, we need Candice Football too, but... I'm going to get the hell out of here, guys. WrestleMania is tonight. Night 1 review will be up following Night 1 show. I'm going to get it up to you guys. You guys can check that out. And then Night 2 will be posted tomorrow night. I'll probably have a video up tomorrow morning as well. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But I'm getting the hell out of here, Brad. I'm going to go football, slam dunk some baseballs. And I'm going to, I'm gonna, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyNameToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.